Stan Gibalisco here. I am going to introduce a set of videos explaining the answers to the final exam questions in this book, Electronics Demystified, Second Edition. Be sure it's the second edition that you have. It's an aquamarine kind of colored book published by McGraw-Hill 468 pages, copyright 2012. So let's get right to it. Question number one. In the final exam for this book, if you have the printed version of the book, you'll find it on page 416. It has to do with the period versus the frequency of an AC wave. We have an AC wave and we're told that the period is one three hundredth of a minute. Well the period is the length of time that it takes for one wave cycle to be completed. So if this horizontal axis represents time going from past to future, and you have the green wave here one cycle, one complete iteration of the wave, generally from the zero point going positive to the next zero point going positive, or from any point on the cycle to the corresponding point on the next cycle. That is one cycle of a wave and the period T, uppercase letter T, represents period. That is the length of time it takes for one cycle, and we're told here in this question that it's one three hundredth of a minute. Well, we can also call that one fifth of a second. That's one three hundredth of a minute. Period and frequency are related inversely. The frequency is proportional to 1 over the period, and conversely, the period is proportional to 1 over the frequency. We represent period with an uppercase letter T, and frequency as a variable as the lowercase letter F. If we express the frequency in hertz, that cycles per second, and the period in seconds, then the frequency is 1 over the period. Well, the period is 1 fifth of a second. 1 over 1 fifth is 5. So our frequency is 5 hertz. Well, actually, we're given this to three significant figures. <clears throat> so we can call it 5.00 hertz. Remember, one three hundredth of a minute is three significant figures, three zero zero. So the frequency is 5.00 hertz. That's five cycles per second. So the period is one fifth of a second or one three hundredth of a minute. And that, in this question, corresponds to choice C. Well, we've only got 99 more videos to go. 99 more questions to go in the final exam. Have fun!